Hi, my name is Ed Thompson from Matillion. This video will help you get started with Matillion ETL for Snowflake. I'll take you through getting us set up with the AWS environment and also getting connected to the Snowflake service. Let's get straight on with it. Let's start by looking at the Snowflake account. With Snowflake, you can log in as an admin user, in this case here. This will take you to your Snowflake warehouses. Once you're logged into Snowflake, first we want to create a virtual warehouse. On the Warehouses tab, click the Create button, put a name for the warehouse, check the size and the Suspend settings, and click Finish. Because I want my warehouse to be accessible to non-admin users, I'm also going to transfer the ownership to public. Next, let's create a default database for us to work in. Click the Databases tab, click Create, and we'll call this Matillion DB, and click Finish. I will also transfer the ownership to public. While we're in there, we can go to the Schemas tab, where we can see there's a public schema. I'll transfer that ownership to public as well. Now we have full access to our virtual warehouse, our database, and our default schema. So I can get on with starting Matillion ETL for Snowflake. Let's switch over to the marketplace. This is the Amazon Web Services Marketplace. And to look for Matillion products, simply search for Matillion in the search bar. Once you're on the Matillion ETL for Snowflake page, you can review the product information here. And when you're ready to get started, set your region and click the yellow Continue button. On this page, we can go ahead with the one-click launch. One option to set on the software is the instance size. Matillion ET Office Snowflake supports three instance sizes, medium, large, and extra large. The difference between these instance sizes is the number of concurrent users that will be supported. That is two concurrent users for the medium, five concurrent users for the large, and 12 concurrent users for the extra large. Make sure you choose the appropriate instance size for the size of team that will be using the product. You can, of course, change this later. I'm going to choose medium. I'm going to choose the latest version. I'm going to check the region. The one-click installation will choose an appropriate security group for us, and it will choose an appropriate default key pair. Once I'm satisfied with all those settings, I can accept the software terms and launch with one click. This will launch Matillion ETL for Snowflake into your EC2 infrastructure. You can go and see that instance starting up immediately by clicking through to the EC2 console. After a few seconds, your instance should pop up you can see it's in pending state. This means the instance is starting up and usually takes between two to five minutes to start first time. Before we can start using our instance, we need to attach an IAM role. To do this, right click on the instance and change instance settings, attach replace IAM role you can create a new IAM role. Click Create New Role. Choose an Amazon EC2 role. And then choose the following policies. SNS, SQS, Full Access, CloudWatch, RDS. And finally, S3 Full Access. 
We also provide a fine-grained policy document for giving you even stricter control over these resources. I click Next, give the role a name, and click Create Role. If you go back to the previous tab, click the Refresh button and select the new role in the drop-down list. Click Apply. We now have a running instance with our role attached. You can see the role attached where it says IAM role in the EC2 instance description. We can see the instance is running. We can see we've got public DNS and an instance ID. If you take the public DNS, copy that to the clipboard, and open a new tab and navigate, you'll end up at the login page. To log into Matillion for the first time, your username and password have been set to ec2-user and the password is the instance ID. This can again be copied from EC2. Once you've got the instance ID, click login. We're now successfully logged in to Matillion ETL for Snowflake. The first screen that you'll see in Matillion is the Create Project screen. The project group and the project name can be anything. As can the project description. For the environmental details, we want to connect to our Snowflake environment. We'll just give it a name of Snowflake. The AWS credentials will be picked up automatically, assuming we've picked up our IAM role correctly. If you click Manage, you can test that. For the account settings, first, we need our account. This is our Snowflake account, and is the first part of our Snowflake domain that we log onto. In my case, matillion.eucentral-1. If I copy that, paste that as the account setting. The default warehouse was the warehouse we created earlier, Matillion. The default database we also created earlier. And the default schema is public. The username and the password. You should see success and a green tick in the test box at the bottom of the form. You're set up and you're ready to start building ETL jobs in Matillion ETL for Redshift. Click OK and the default project will load. So now you should have Matillion ETL for Snowflake up and running in your AWS environment and also connected to the Snowflake service. The next steps are to start creating your first ETL jobs with the product. This is going to be the subject of the next video in this series. If you need more information, visit matillion.com or you can download a free trial from the AWS Marketplace. Thanks. Mm -hmm.